So I took my face and I took a clip from the Avengers movie. I took the face of Hulk and I swapped my face with it. And this is an entire video. Let me show you. With Hulk and not the other characters from the movie. So this is Friday and you know what that means. It means that we take an open source model and we play around with the model, set it up locally and just try out what the model is about. Today we will be trying face fusion using Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a tool that I've spoken about before. It's super easy to install. If you don't know how to set it up, I'll put a link to the tutorial video in the description. But once you go through the video, it's very simple. So as you can see, we'll be trying out face fusion 2.3 and it's insane, right? You click on the app and then you click on download. I can also show you there's like an official Git repository here that kind of will be cloned in your local computer in order to use Pinocchio itself. You're going to be saving it locally. And this is how the installation starts. Now note that while a bunch of libraries and technical stuff will be installed in the background, you don't necessarily need to worry about what is what because Pinocchio will automatically install everything it needs for you. So once you download it, there's a button on the left side that says install. Go ahead and click it. What this will effectively do is it will download all the libraries that Pinocchio needs in order to run locally in your ecosystem. So you can see it's downloading a bunch of libraries and some of these libraries are also named about there. It takes quite some time. So for me, the overall setup took like 10 minutes, which is way less than what other open source models have taken to install before. But once this is done, the results are very, very good. So let me just quickly fast forward and come back once the initial install is done. I'll show you how the screen looks like once the installation is done. So don't worry about it. So once the install is complete, this is the pop-up you see. And once you click on done, what you need to do is click on the launch option. And in our scenario, we will be choosing launch default because we want to launch it with default settings. And once you click that, this will effectively download the models and dependencies. So initially you downloaded the framework that needs to run the model. Now you will download the actual model that will be used when you process any of the images or videos per se. So go ahead and click on the default option and this will start the download process. This will again take five to 10 minutes depending on how the internet speed is. And once it's done, you will have an option like this with a URL. That basically means that everything was good, everything worked out and it's ready to install locally. Now go ahead and click on the link. This should open up something like this for you. If you've used Stable Diffusion on any open source model before, you will quickly be able to get a sense of what is what. But if you haven't, let me quickly walk you through the UI. So let's talk about the left side first. These are basically settings before you process the image. You can see we are going to be using face wrapper. Then we will be using which we will be choosing which model to use. So we'll keep the default one, which is in wrapper. And then there is the execution providers. We're going to be using CPU for this one because some of you guys only have access to CPU. Then there are a bunch of options that we don't need to worry about at this point of time. On the middle of the screen here is where you will upload the input image, which is the face, the target image, which where you need to swap the input face. And then finally, the last section is the output that will be processed once your processing is completed. Now for images, this is almost instant because on the right side, extreme right, preview section, you will immediately see the preview. But just in case you have videos, so you can see the preview of what will be transformed in the face or how the face will look and then you can click on start to actually process the video itself. You see there are a bunch of options for model here. So it seems we are familiar with the, most of the options here. Let me just quickly upload the source and the target image. So it seems we are familiar with most of the options now. So I went ahead and uploaded the source and the target image here. This is the source which is the actual face, my face and then the target where I need to transform the face. And you can see immediately on the right side, you will see a preview with the initial transformation done, right? So again, this isn't like the best face swapping out there, but the initial swap is very good. You can see the glasses have disappeared for some reason, but the initial swap is good. And on the right side, again, you will see a bunch of options that you can fine tune to adjust how strong or weak the face swap should be. Now, once you click on start again, like I said, it will generate the image in the case of images, it will be instant because on the preview is effectively what you will generate here as well. So once you click on start, this will basically process the image that you have uploaded. 
both the input and the output and this is super fast swap wise so we're going to be looking at a few more options now and this time around we will be looking at the video itself right so you can see the initial face and the video it created a preview video on the right side of the face so it will take the first face of the video and it will show you the preview based on that face so you can see this is the preview here and this is an actual 40 second video you can see so this is the entire video and i'm going to be clicking on start and it will only take the first face the face of the hulk and transform the image now note for video it takes around 240 seconds or so because video has around 1200 frames depending on what kind of video you're uploading for a 40 second video it will take around four minutes or so so the processing time is very long that way if you are like me and curious about how long it's taking and what's going on you can always you know go back to pinocchio and you can see the status of how long this will take for us to process the video itself you can see i'm here and it shows the amount of frames being processed and amount of frames left and the frames per second as well so this takes quite a bit to process to be honest seems like it swapped the first piece of the so video when you have the exact same character throughout the film it's going to swap your face across all these frames right so very interesting i'm not sure if you have like the option to select multiple face now in our scenario you can see the face selected mode is reference and the reference face is the first face but i wonder if like a, when i upload a video with the first frame having more than one face can i select which face to swap it should be possible, but that's something you guys will have to explore. Images that I want to swap my face with. Again, these are all the memes that I found online and I'm going to be using those for reference. All right, so one of the images is here. This is the meme where white says love is all you need and then false you need water and rations. So I swapped my face with white. So weirdly, we look uh, relatively identical there. Let me move forward with the next one now. This is yet another image. Uh, one does not simply win an argument with the woman, which is, I think this is from the Lord of the Rings. And you can see the face swap. It's looking okay, if not perfect. It's not too bad. And then finally, the famous Mona Lisa portrait. I swapped my face with it and it looks okay. Just for the sake of breaking the model, I tried one more. The face of this baby and it kind of did break the model because it's not perfect. Because the face does not fit in the baby's face. But the generation is okay. Like I don't expect insanely high amount of things from open source models. But this one to, to my surprise has done a very well job. And if you guys want to try this out locally, feel free to. It's a very easy to install and access model. I'm quite surprised that I, we can already you know start using models like these locally. Which wasn't possible previously. And I don't think it's going to be requiring crazy amount of GPU power because it runs on CPU. So feel free to set this up locally. If you have any questions, let me know. But thank you so much and have a great weekend.